Hi guys, welcome to another key shot tutorial. My name is Liam Martin and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a rustic ceramic material in key shot. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll know this material from our render weekly post this week. That's for season two, week eight. I had such a great response from this post uh, and so many requests to make a tutorial on the material that I decided to put up this video to share my experiences with the rendering and product design communities. Now I will be using an external texture from CG Axis to make my ceramic. Don't let that put you off. Uh, find and download your own textures online uh, to create a ceramic that's unique to you. I'll also be using displacement in this tutorial to create an uneven surface on the ceramic. So if you don't have Keyshot 8, you won't be able to do this bit, but don't worry too much. You'll be able to do everything else along with me. I'm gonna jump over to Keyshot to show how I made it. For now, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so to show off the effect, I'm using the cup that I made for Render Weekly this week. And to start off, I'm just gonna apply a hard, shiny plastic material to the model. Um, the important thing is this is a plastic, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and change it over to a ceramic, uh, name ceramic as well, so we know what we're doing. Uh, in the material graph, first thing we can do is add in the texture that we wanna use. So. Like I said, I'm using a texture from CG Axis uh, that I bought. Um, it's an old metal texture. I kind of don't want you to use this and look, at, uh, look out for it because I want to see what unique ceramics you can make with your textures. The important thing is um, it's good to use a very random uh, texture. So anything with rust, um, anything that's uh, not got a lot of order to it is brilliant. And hopefully there's a good bit of contrast in there. So we've got dark patches and lighter patches uh, that's going to work really well for the ceramic. I'm just going to input that into the material graph, hit C on the keyboard to preview how it's projected onto the model, and then go ahead and uh, map it differently. So I've got a cylindrical part, so I'm going to center on the part, change the map into cylinder, and go to move texture. So if I bring down the diameter, you'll see uh, the cylinder move in. There we go. And then I'm going to bring down the size as well. So again, play around with it and find what's perfect, what suits your texture. I'm going to go for about, about that size. And I'm just going to rotate it round to get rid of some of the, uh, some of the seams. And um, you can solve that in your own time, but I just want to get through this as quickly as possible because it's quite a long tutorial. Okay, so when you're happy with the mapping, you can leave that for a second, right click, go to textures and add in curvature. This is what we're going to be using for the color of the, uh, the material. We're doing this because we want to change the color where it's curved. So at the top, we've got this ring around here and around here. We're going to have this as a darker color, uh, which is quite a good trend in ceramic design at the moment. I'm going to increase the radius of this curvature to 20 and bring down the cutoff. You can see what that's doing now. So we've got uh, this nice area here, uh, which is the purple set by the positive curvature. I'm going to set the first two, which is negative and zero curvature as this beige color. Okay, this is going to be the base color for our material. And then change the positive curvature color to a darker brown here. And we can go ahead and plug that into the diffuse. Okay, so that's done there. Next, we can start to influence this with our texture, with whatever texture you're using. So we're gonna right click on this line and, and add in a color composite. Have a little rearrange, and then we can plug this texture into the background. Jump into the color composite and hit C on the keyboard. So as default, it won't be changing anything, and that's because the blend mode is normal. Um, if you blend uh, it as multiply, you'll see it's sort of uh, times in these colors together. So that could work as well. Um, but I'm going to use soft light, uh, which works well for mine and um, is a bit less harsh than the multiply. Okay, so if you jump out of that preview, you'll note that changes the uh, diffuse as well. Okay, so that's a really nice way of bringing this texture uh, into the uh, color as well. Uh, I'm just going to add in a color adjust in between the color composite and the texture and bring out the saturation. Okay, so what we want, uh, we don't want it to 
pick up the yellow essentially and that's important if you're using a texture with some crazy colors in here you might want to just bring down the saturation so it's not uh, it's not bringing those into the color composite you're just using the browns or whatever tones you've got from the curvature next i'm going to plug this texture into the specular start affecting more of the things on the plastic add in a color to number and hit c on the keyboard so anything uh, any of these dots I want to reflect a little bit more light than the base ceramic here. So to do that for me, I'm going to have to invert this texture. So I'm, to do that, I'm going to change the output from to one and the output to, to zero. Okay, so now the spots are white. They're going to reflect more light and the duller patches behind are going to reflect a little bit less. Next up, we can plug this texture into the roughness, not the refractive index. and right click on that line again and add in another color to number this time we want the spots to be smoother so they in this we need them to be darker which they are in the back and the back's going to be slightly rougher so what we want to do because we've got a mid gray here is bring this closer to black because mid gray is going to be quite rough so i'm going to bring down the output too in my case this will depend on what texture you've started off with and bring that down to a dark green. If I leave the preview, it will show up quite well. So we've got a rough material here and then it's smoother on the dots. Okay, so we're starting to build up uh, a more advanced ceramic material and it's already starting to look quite good. So we've got a nice uh, glaze effect on here as well. Next up, we can plug this into the bump as well. And it defaults at one for the bump height. Uh, which is a bit extreme for what we're going for so i'm going to bring that down to 0.02 and then i'm actually going to invert this because i want these bumps to go in if i change it back to one you'll note that the dots are coming out so if i change it to no minus 0.02 they're going to be very small but go inwards so it's it's a discrete effect but but these discrete effects add up to make a, a much more convincing material uh, that renders much nicer than really basic ones Okay, so that's the material done for now. Again, you could go in and add uh, color adjusts here to change the overall hue of this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the displacement bit of it because it's more important. I'm gonna right click, go to geometry and displace and plug that into the geometry of the material. Same as uh, the leather tutorial. Uh, if you've seen that, I'm gonna use the cellular texture and plug that into the displace. And I'm going to hit C on the keyboard to preview that. So what we want to do here is have areas, uh, we want some white lighter areas and some darker ones uh, that are black that aren't going to get extruded with the displacement module. So I'm going to raise the contrast to five, which is going to give us uh, strong blacks. And then I'm going to turn down the shape and increase the levels a little bit. Okay, might have to bring down the shape a little bit more. Okay, so we don't want we don't really want ridges in there too much. We want it to be quite a great random gradient effect. And I'm going to increase the scale. Maybe 25 looks about right. Okay, so these lighter areas are going to extrude. Anything that's darker won't. Jump over to your displacement module. Change the displacement height. I think five is going to work quite well for this. And take note of. Uh, particularly this top rim here, because it's got a little bit of light, you'll see how this affects that. So I hit execute. Okay, so it's shifted there. So what it's done is extrude out. And you've also got this bulge coming around here. So if you went back into cellular preview, you'll know we've got a light area around here. And now that's gonna bulge out from the existing model we've got. So this is a really great way of making an uneven and uneven model. Uh, making it look very homemade. Okay, so really good for rustic ceramics uh, and a brilliant effect, brilliant tool to use if you've got Keyshot 8. Okay, so that does it for the tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, get subscribed if you haven't done already. If you use this material, uh, make your own. Please remember to tag me in it if you post it on Instagram. I really want to see your work. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section below. But for now, Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.